The people of the Gold Coast had had their own assembly under the British, but not independence. In 1957, they became the first black Africans to get complete freedom. Leaders from East and West came to Accra to see the handover. Vice President Nixon represented the United States. He arrived with a delegation that included civil rights leader Martin Luther King. A new order is coming into being, and an old order is passing away. It seems to me that uh, this is fit testimony to the fact that eventually the forces of justice triumph in the universe, and somehow the universe itself is on the side of freedom uh, and justice. The British were proud of the peaceful nature of the transfer. For Dr. Nkrumah, main architect of Ghana's independence, this is a day of fulfillment. The longing to be free, the need to be free, these are part of the rightful heritage of man, a heritage denied to colonial Africa until now. The Gold Coast was renamed Ghana, with a parliamentary system modelled on Westminster. Committing themselves to civil rights, the new government put up a huge commemorative arch. Here, but a handful of years ago, men laid down their lives for a cause that was not yet won, for freedom, for justice. Komla Bedema had been with Nkrumah from the start. Now he shared the glory. And in the uh, subdued light, we mounted the platform and were all ready when the lights all went on at five minutes to 12. With me standing on the right hand of side of Nkoma, everybody was happy. The cheering probably is still resounding, but we don't hear it. of the night was called Freedom High Life, written by E.T. Mensa, the king of African high life music. Ghana, land of freedom, Ghana, land of freedom, toils of the brave and the sweat of the labor, toils of the brave which have brought results, toils of the brave and the sweat of the labor, toils of the brave which have brought results. It's very great that day at the Independence Square. People are dancing, singing. They love the music and the song. The song really symbolizes the singing of Kamukuma. At long last, the battle is ended. 
because we have freedom. We have our freedom. Already being hailed as the father of African nationalism, Nkrumah gave funds to other nationalist movements and preached the message across the continent. This mid 20th century is Africa's. This decade is the decade of African independence. Forward then to independence, to independence now. Tomorrow, the United States of Africa.